welcome back to Cybersecurity TV. In this three-part series on careers in cybersecurity, today we're going to talk about why cybersecurity may not be for everyone. Now, cybersecurity is a booming field, attracting many with its promise of high-paying jobs, increasing demand, and the opportunity to make a real difference in protecting people's data and privacy and businesses. However, it's crucial to understand that this career path isn't for everyone. While many of you will think that that's true to any industry, but let's dive a little bit deeper into what makes this industry stand out from others by exploring some of the challenges and demands of this dynamic industry. High pressure environment. Imagine this, you're sitting at your desk, sipping your morning coffee, going through your meeting schedule, getting your work done, when suddenly there's an alarm that starts blaring and it's a sep -do. Your company's network is under threat and you have mere minutes to respond. Sounds exciting? Well, for some, it's a thrilling challenge, but for some others, it's a nightmare. Cybersecurity is a high stakes field where a single mistake can lead to catastrophic consequences. We're talking about potential data breaches that could expose sensitive information and cost millions of dollars in damages. Cybersecurity professionals often find themselves under intense pressure to act quickly and efficiently, especially when responding to active threats. And this happens a lot more than you would like to believe. The next biggest challenge is the never-ending learning curve. Remember when you thought you were done learning in school? While well, in cybersecurity, school never ends. This field evolves faster than a chameleon changes colors. New vulnerabilities, threats, and attack methods pop up daily. It's like a whack-a-mole on steroids. To stay relevant, cybersecurity pros must continually update their skills, learn about new technologies, and stay one step ahead of hackers. This means they are on a constant diet of courses, conferences, blog readings, experimenting with new tools, and so on. It's like being in a never-ending tech buffet. Exciting for some, exhausting for others. So if you're not someone who gets a kick out of constant learning and enjoys staying on your toes, you might find this space a little bit overwhelming. It's not just about the learning, it's also learning at the speed of light. The next is the technical complexities. Not for the faint heart. Cybersecurity isn't just about installing antivirus softwares and calling it a day. It requires a deep understanding of complex systems and networks, encryption methods, programming language, digital forensics, keeping up with the AI evolutions, and so much more. It's like solving a Rubik's Cube blindfolded and someone is constantly changing the colors. It is a lot. So if you don't have passion for working with technology or find it challenging to grasp highly technical concepts, this field can feel like climbing the Mount Everest in flip-flops. Now, there's a lot of technical depth involved and it can take months, sometimes even years to master some of the skills that are required for the several roles in cybersecurity. Which then brings me to the burnout, the silent career killer. Now picture this, you've just pulled probably your second or third all-nighter this week, your coffee mug has become like a permanent extension of your hand and you can't remember the last time you saw daylight. Well, sometimes, welcome to the world of cybersecurity burnouts. The combination of high stress, long hours, and the need for continuous learning can lead to serious fatigue. Many cybersecurity professionals experience burnout from the relentless demands of this job. Now, whether it's managing a major security incident, constantly staying up to date with new threats, working long nights to fix vulnerabilities, logging meeting notes, incorporating feedback, following up with peers because you're blocked on them, and the never-ending pressure of simplifying technical tidbits for your managers or higher-ups who may not necessarily be the most technical minds of the teams. The burnout is real, guys. It's crucial to assess whether you're ready to handle this pressure over the long term. Self-care isn't just like a buzzword in cybersecurity, it literally is a survival instinct. Now, before you run for the hills, it's not all doom and gloom. Let's remember that 
for the right person cyber security can be an incredibly rewarding career if you are someone who thrives under pressure has an insatiable appetite for learning or simply enjoy solving complex technical puzzles then cyber security could be your calling it's a field where you can make a real difference protecting people's data and privacy in an increasingly digital world well to conclude is cyber security right for you because cyber security isn't just a job it's a lifestyle it requires a unique blend of technical skills stress management and an unquenchable thirst for knowledge and staying on toes while the challenges are significant so are the rewards for those who take up these tasks if these challenges sound more exciting than overwhelming you might have what it takes to thrive in cyber security but if they want to make you hire under your desk don't worry there are many other rewarding career paths in the world of tech that may be better suited for your preferences all you need to remember is the best career is the one that aligns with your passions strengths and lifestyle preferences whether that's cyber security or something else entirely the world of tech has a place for everyone so what do you think are you ready to take on the cyber security challenge or does the tech path call on to some other name let me know in the comment section below what challenges you face in your industry who knows maybe we'll discover the next big career trend together and in the meanwhile if you want me to further dive into the world of cyber security and the challenges or the roles of a cyber security expert in their day to day life please let me know and i will come back with another set